Howdy folks, Solid Cactus 27 here with you again. Now, welcome back to the channel, first of all. The reason I'm making this specific video is because I was left with this dropped into one of my song request boxes. Now, obviously considering that what you just read has nothing to do with music, I can only assume that this person, who goes by the name Cyborg Alpha V1, left this video here because he wanted me to see it. I'm sure he must have watched my video where I came out in support of Jessica Alquist, which is all fine and dandy. But he left this video in my Dropbox so that I would see it. On his part, not the most effective way to get a video to me, but nonetheless, I did find it. The first seven, eight minutes of this video, I didn't really care about, because it was basically this guy trying to justify the differences in the churches, which I'm very, very versed upon. Uh, the first part, uh, I'm going to start with a disclosure that I am a Christian. But I am not uh, 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 the typical type of Christian. But I am not uh, 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 the typical type of Christian. And I knew pretty much all the information he was telling me before I watched the video, so that didn't even matter. But uh, he went on in the second part to say something about how it is unconstitutional to have had the program taken down because it's a form of freedom of speech and freedom of religion and that uh, it, it was not a Now, as for this uh, this whole Jessica thing or whatever her name is, I, kept, I forgot her name at this particular point in time. The, the mural is constitutional for one particular reason. Uh, have you ever heard of the of the the, the charter or the um, the uh, right known as the First Amendment? Right, free speech, freedom of religion. Right. So as long as someone's not forcing you to look at this or forcing you to say something, then the presentation of, uh, of whatever it is is protected by the First Amendment. The First Amendment is something, then the presentation of, uh, of whatever it is is protected by the First Amendment. The First Amendment And I feel this needs clarified a bit. You see, it's a common misconception that freedom of speech means you can just say whatever the hell you want. Something, then the presentation of, uh, of whatever it is is protected by the First Amendment. The First Amendment. Is Which, to some extent, you really can, but that's really not what it's there for. Freedom of speech is around to protect unpopular speech. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. There's no reason to protect popular speech because, frankly, it's popular. It's what people want to hear. It's what people want to talk about. It's unpopular speech that needs protected because the people that ask questions, the people that say, hey, I'm not really sure this is true. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or in the initial term, illegal. Those are the people that need protected. That's what freedom of speech is for. It's to make sure that people who speak unpopular speech are protected. Atheism, unfortunately, is unpopular speech. Just because the majority of people believe in something does not mean it's true. It's not designed to protect speech that you like. 
The First Amendment is designed to speak to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. If you need proof of that, go talk to anyone who used to think the world was flat or that the universe revolved around Earth. At one time, most people believed that as well. As far as it's unconstitutional that he took the prayer down because it's a violation of freedom of religion. There is another misconception. Yes, the Second Amendment does say it is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to speak to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. That you can practice whatever religion you want or lack of religion. What it also says, though, is that government cannot make any laws that show favoritism to religion. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. And while that is in the Constitution, it doesn't seem to be paid very much attention to, attention to, I mean, just look at our money and what we do when we're at court, but for them to have allowed the prayer banner to be in the school would have been unconstitutional because it would have shown favoritism towards Christianity over, let's say, Jews, Muslims that might have been in the school, atheists like Jessica. Is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. So, for government to have said, yeah, it's history and it can stay, would have been showing favoritism towards Christianity. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. And frankly, the government cannot do that. It tries to sometimes, which is frustrating to me, but it cannot do that. Bottom line, uh, what Jessica Alquist did was absolutely correct. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. She could have, did she have to do it? Well, maybe not. Did she have a right to do it? Hell, yes, she had a right to do it. The Constitution states that freedom of speech, freedom of religion, yes, but it's important to understand what that means. Protection of unpopular speech, protection of the right to practice any religion, but not for the government to favor any religion. Allowing the banner to be there would show favoritism. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. His bottom line. Make sure from now on, Mr. Cyborg Alpha, that if you're going to use um, the Constitution to justify Christianity, that you do so correctly. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. Because not doing so proves that everything that I, my friends, my followers, and people who think like me say about Christianity can be true. It is not designed to protect speech that you like. The First Amendment is designed to, speak, to protect speech that could be offensive or, in the initial term, illegal. Before free speech, and before the concept of free speech, if you said something against the crown, or something against somebody that, that, that was powerful enough, that was considered to be illegal, you could be taken to jail and you could be executed for it. This is where free speech came from. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, I know it's one of my shorter ones, please give it a thumbs up, please share it around, and uh, have a good day, guys. That's all I have to say. And this is why DCA, the Digital Copyright Act, is a violation of free speech. This is why SOPA, the new, uh, uh, the new uh, bill that's trying to get passed through the, uh, the, uh, the House and Senate, uh, that's why that's unconstitutional. It's a violation of free speech. That's why uh, IP Protect is a violation of free speech. That's why this whole concept of piracy, intellectual properties, pirating intellectual property, that's all bullshit. That's all, that's all coming from a media industry that wants to dominate. It is not Christian. It is not uh, free speech. It is not American. The thing is, when you stand for free speech, yes, the girl may have not liked what she saw on the sign, but that is not proper Americanism to go and take that sign down because you object to what it says. Free speech, if you stand by free speech, means you may not like what the person says, you may not like what the person shows, but you defend that person's right to say what they say, to show what they show, regardless.